here. Okay, a little bit uh, different of a uh, video today. Um, I have had my friend Patty um, ask me how I do, um, I make dishcloths. And um, so I decided I was going to record it. She, she lives in another town for me, so it's kind of hard to show her. So um, these are the dishcloths I make. Um, so the yarn comes in different colors. You can get solid colors. You can get, um, you know, gradient kind of colors. Um, I went and bought this one today. So I use the Burnett Handicrafter Cotton. Um, I buy the big jumbo balls. Um, they're 340 grams. And I got this at Michael's and it cost me 10 bucks Canadian and then plus tax. Um, you can buy smaller ball or yarn balls. Um, but I find with those you have to buy two balls to get three dishcloths and then it'll make like each ball will make one and a half dishcloths. This one will make, I usually probably get about 20 dishcloths out of it. Um, so yeah, way better deal. Okay, so to begin, I kind of look in the ends of the ball and I try and find the end and oh my god, that was so easy. <laughs> um, usually it's, it's a little more difficult to find the end. Um, I take it out of the end just because it gets tangly otherwise. So first off, I take it and just make a little loop like that over and then through. So you get a little tail and this is adjustable. Um, I use size five milliliter or five um, millimeter um, knitting needles. I find that that um, gives me the best kind of um, size for mine. Okay, so put the yarn on. And now you're going to cast on four stitches. So on, and then you take the needle inside. So three and four. Okay. So I have four stitches. Okay. So now we're going to knit the four stitches. One, two, three, and four. Sorry, I've got glass on my table, so it's um the needles are kind of smashing it. Okay, so I have four on. So now let me just put this over here. So now we're going to We're going to knit too. Sorry, I'm just fighting with a little tail right now. So, knit two. So you have two. And then yarn over. So what that means? Over the ball. So it's like this. And then you knit the two stitches. Okay. So now... We're just gonna knit two more. So one and two. So you have two. And then we're gonna do the yarn over. And you're gonna keep doing this until you get 42 stitches. So, um, it uh, just keep going. I found 42 works the best for me. 
it's not too big it's not too small okay so I need it two and then yarn over and then knit the rest okay and then you keep doing that until you get to 42 so I'll do one more so knit two and yarn over okay so when you keep doing that what the yarn over is doing is giving you this cool little pattern so you're knitting two you get the yarn over and you get your pattern so you're working here till you get to 42 and then we're going to decrease okay so i'm going to continue knitting this until i get to 42 stitches and then i'll show you how to decrease I'll just knit one more and then I'll come back. And there you have it. So, okay, um, so I will come back when we get to 42 and I'll show you how to do the rest. Okay, welcome back. Now, I have gotten, if you can see, um, there is 41 stitches here so we're getting close um, just one more row and then um, we will start decreasing so this very last row just two over or knit two yarn over and then knit two the end so super easy you're just it's all straight knitting you just knit the two then yarn over all the way to the end I'm gonna do this quick try not to bang on my desk <laughs> so different knitting on a camera so okay I'm just gonna pause for a sec one moment okay so I'm almost to the end do 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 so just knit all the way to the end right there so now I have my 42 stitches across and then I have all my holes for my from my yarn overs okay so now what we're gonna do is we need to decrease so we need to make it smaller so what we do is we knit the very first stitch so you knit the one stitch then the next two stitches you stick your needle inside so you're going to knit both the stitches together Oops. so you knit both of them so you get them all stuck in together and then you knit those two whoops so knit <laughs> two okay there we go and then so you look you have the two stitches on the one and then you pull it off and then just kind of tighten it up and now you're gonna do yarn over and then you're gonna do you're gonna stick your needle in and because you want to knit the next two stitches together 
and there you go okay so you knit one knit two together yarn over knit two together and now what you're gonna do is you're just gonna knit all the way to the very very end so basically what you're doing is you you are decreasing so you're making the dishcloth smaller now by knitting the two stitches together. So you're turning it from two stitches into one stitch. And then you're gonna do that. You're gonna keep decreasing all the way to the end until you have four stitches left on your needles. So I'm just gonna knit gonna pause for a second and be right back okay so I just quickly knitted to the end so we're just gonna knit the last few stitches here okay so now we're gonna turn it around and we're gonna decrease again so knit the first stitch then you are going to knit two stitches together. Put your, so put your needles into the two stitches, knit. Then you do yarn over and then knit two stitches together. So there you go. And then knit all the way. To the end. Now I don't know how other people knit but I always put uh, the yarn around my pinky just so I can kind of guide it and I have control in my hand. So this is what I do. See? It's just a comfort thing for me. I don't know if it's wrong or right, um, but it's just something I do. I just find I have more control and um, doo -doo -doo. and it flows a little easier for me. Okay, I'm just gonna pause for a minute. Okay, so I'm back and I'm almost at the end. So, just knit all the way to the end and turn your knitting around and now we're going to decrease again. I'll show you one more time. And uh, So knit one, then take the two stitches, put your needle in both of them so it comes out the back, then knit the two together, then yarn over, and then, oops, and then knit the two stitches together, and there you go. So then knit all the way to the end again, and keep doing this until you have four stitches left on your needles. Okay, so I'm going to do this until um, I have four stitches left on my needles, and then we'll come back and show you what to do next. Okay, so we're back, and I am down to one, two, three, four, five, six stitches now. So, so this is what it looks like when you turn your corner. So let's finish this off. Okay. So one, knit one, knit two together, yarn over, knit together and 
and then the last stitch. Okay, so I got one, two, three, four, five. So one more, and then we're finished. Or not quite finished, but almost. Okay, so knit one, knit two stitches together, and then yarn over, and knit the last two stitches together. Okay, so you got four stitches left. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna cast off. So to cast off, okay, you knit one stitch, and then knit one stitch. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the first stitch you knitted, you're gonna stick your needle, knitting needle in it, and then I kinda pull the little tail tighter and then I'm just going to slide the first stitch over the second stitch and then I'm going to take it off the knitting needle. Okay, so then you're going to knit the next stitch. So you have two now. So you take your knitting needle and you stick it in the first stitch and then you slide it up and over the, the second stitch and then take your knitting needle out. So now do that again. So knit into the last stitch and then take your knitting needle, stick into the first stitch and then up and over so you have one st stitch left. Now what I do is I'll take the knitting needles out I just stick my finger in there. And now what we're gonna do, I'm just trying to get, is we're gonna cut. I usually cut probably about, I don't know, one, two, three, maybe four inches. Not a huge little tail, but I'm gonna cut that. And then I take the end and I slip it inside the, the stitch and then I pull it tight. Okay, so hang on one second. Okay, sorry, my husband's playing his music so it got a little loud. Okay, so now what we're gonna do um, is we're gonna take um, a needle. Um, any needle will do. I find I like the ones with a bigger hole because then the yarn will fit in them. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna weave the ends in. Okay, so then we're just gonna loop it in. And I usually generally go in and then pull it in. And then I just kind of weave them in. It does, there's no rhyme or reason on how to do it. You just want to um, weave in the end so it doesn't come loose. So I kind of go up and down. So I kind of run out of a tail. So I've got a little bit of a tail left, so I get my scissors and then I just cut off the end. And then I just kind of stretch it out and voila, that is the dishcloth. Now the very first tail, I'm going to weave that in as well. So just thread your needle through. And I didn't make this tail as long as I normally do. I should have, but not a big deal. So I'm just gonna weave it in. So that's good enough. So I'm just gonna cut off the end, kind of pull it through, and there you go. You now have completed a dishcloth. Super, super easy. Um, yeah, and they work great. Um, 
for dishes and stuff. You can also use them for kids. I know my sister-in-law used to love them for cleaning the kids off when they were little. Um, you can use it for your faces, you know, so you can get all different colors. Let's see if I can go out a bit. Oops, wrong way. Hang on. Sorry, my camera. So anyway, um, you can get all different colors. Um, you can get solid colors. You can get pattern colors. You can get, you know, little pattern colors. Um, I've made blankets. Like I actually have made lots of baby blankets using the same, um, same pattern. Um, I just make them bigger. Um, I, I make my dog actually Daisy has quite a few blankets uh, that I've made um, I don't use the same material I use a different yarn but I make the same pattern just on a larger scale for her um, yeah so anyway um, I hope this has helped if you have any questions uh, let me know and um, yeah and let me know how it goes for you okay um, thanks for watching and hope you're having a great day. Bye for now.